Okay guys, this is one of my first videos, so I'd appreciate it after you watch this. If you do like it, please subscribe. Um, so I'm just gonna show you my gear setup for killing the Brutal Black Dragons. It's really um, a simple setup, void, all free pretty much. Um, Bandos, Dehyde Boots, you can substitute those for Snakeskin. You can substitute all of this for Black Dragon Hide. I wouldn't say you're gonna be efficient coming here with under 80 range. Um, even with 86, it's pretty challenging. It's not really challenging, but you um, your kills will be a bit slower. Um, of course, you're going to bring... Uh, I bring a 2-dose range potion, one extended anti-fire, and one prayer potion just to be safe. I don't bring extra prayer potions because I recharge my prayer at the altar, which takes a little more time, but it saves you about 30k a trip. So, And then the lobster is just in case something wears off or you, your protection prayer isn't on. The Brutal Black Dragons can also melee you if you're close to them. So whenever you go down the rope, there's a chance that one of them is standing near the rope if they're not being attacked and they might hit you. And they can hit pretty high, so it's good to have just a little bit of food. But overall, you really don't need much. This is a Xerix Talisman. Um, this can teleport you to Zia and fairly close to where the Brutal Black Dragons are. So it's very useful. Um, I also keep another one in the bank in case I die. I can come back here really quickly. So it's always good to have two. Um, and you can buy fangs for these for a couple hundred GP each, or you can go get them yourself. And um, yeah, it it's just good to have. So this is um, from 39 kills. I'll go over all this in a minute, but first let's go ahead and go do a trip to the dragons so you can see how this works. So you're gonna teleport to the Inferno, Xerix Inferno. And then we will run east. Um, also, you want to have your quick prayers set to protect from magic and protect or um, eagle eye. Um, I do advise you have 70 prayer to do this just to make it more efficient, but it's not necessary. Usually, I get my kills and I'm almost out of prayer. I usually have to turn off eagle eye towards the end. Um, that way, I don't waste any prayer potions. So you're going to come over here, run east, um, you're going to enter this hole, but before you go down, now to, to do this efficiently, you don't want to drink this while you're at the bank or anything, because if you do, you, it might, um, it lasts about 11 minutes, but if you're, if you're going to be running back to this altar here to recharge your prayer, um, you want to make sure that you do this in a timely manner. If you're bringing prayer potions, you shouldn't worry so much. So you're going to go ahead and drink that, drop it, drink a range potion, turn on quick prayers, jump down, have your blowpipe on rapid, and as you can see, that dragon was standing there and it actually attacked me. Um, let's see, we got one over here. So as long as you're standing back, um, they won't really be able to hit you. Wow, 37. Uh, I've seen a guy with 99 range down here, and he was using uh, Rune Crossbow and Diamond Bolt E, and I was actually killing them quicker than him with the Blowpipe, and I'm using Adamant Darts. So I think the Blowpipe is definitely the most efficient way to kill these things, but I could be wrong. He was also not wearing Void. He said that to him that he hit higher um, without Void and with the Crossbow. Someone said maybe that would be true if you're using an armadial crossbow, but I, I was killing them alongside him, and my kills were definitely faster than him. I could kill about two in the time it took him to kill one, and he had 99 range, so. So towards the end of the kill, of course I got a shit drop. Towards the end of the kill, I um, turn off my eagle eye, especially if I didn't kill it that quick. And that's just to save prayer because sometimes you'll get down, you it'll take a longer time to kill the brutal black dragon. Your prayer will come down quite a bit, and um, you'll have to turn off eagle eye, otherwise you'll drain your prayer while you're in there. And if 
your magic goes off, your protect from magic goes off, you'll be screwed while you're in there because they do hit really high. So just come back over here, recharge your prayer, and run down as quick as you can because as you can see here, I still have quite a bit of time left on my um, anti-fire, but I'll be able to get four or five kills um, while that's still up. So for me, I usually drink another range potion once I get down to like 90-ish, 91 uh, range. While I'm standing here waiting, I turn off Eagle Eye. And let's see if I can get him. All right, got him. Turn Eagle Eye back on. So I normally kill King by Dragon. Um, I actually just got a Visage drop with my friend at 249 kill count, which is crazy. Um, I'll probably put a video up selling that Visage. I actually didn't get it recorded, us getting the drop, but I had recorded us selling it and splitting it. So that's pretty cool. I'd rather have the KBD pet, but I'll take a Visage for sure. That was a six and a half mil split there. I've, I've played this game a really long time, and that's actually the only big drop I've ever gotten. So pretty cool. These Brutal Black Dragons have really good drops, so like, I'm, I'm sure you saw my bank, but once we actually price check it, just, there's so much, like, the XP isn't that great, but the GPU you get from it is incredible, so if you really are, like, short on cash, you can come here and make your money back really quickly. Um, sometimes I get inventories that are worth, like, three to 400k, and I mean, it's, it's not hard to do that at all. They drop rune items, dragon items, um, and I'm pretty sure they have the same chance of dropping a visage um, as just a regular black dragon. I think it's a 1 in 10,000 chance. Um, KVD, I think, is 1 in 5,000. So as you can see right here, whenever my prayer drops down to 10, somewhere between 10 and 15, I'll turn off Eagle Eye. You can also switch to um, Hawkeye to save, but we'll keep it at that. So these dragon arrow tips, those are... Let's see what those are worth here in a second. Uh, they're worth 45k. So not bad. For the supplies you use doing it this way, totally, totally worth doing these. Even if you're using prayer pots, um, the money you get is just crazy. Some trips, like... I've had a couple where I just get anglerfish, which is kind of annoying, but the rest of the trips totally make up for it. Oh, and by the way, this talisman here, you get that from the uh, some kind of wizard dudes on the other side. Um, they're pretty easy to kill. You just keep killing them. I think it's a rare drop. I somehow got two of those necklaces fairly quickly. It probably took me like an hour or two. Oh, crap. I forgot to turn on prayer when I came down here. So I'm going to go ahead and drink this other ranging pot. Yeah, it's really a mix up. If if I was going to come here though, like you, I've done it before with a um, a rune crossbow, and I mean you can see these people here using a crossbow. It's just, I from all the people I've seen doing it, the crossbow is just slower. Like that that dragon just healed on that guy, as he was killing it. I wish the XP was better here, but for the money you get, it's pretty good. I don't really care about GP. Um, since I've been playing old school, I really just want the quest cape, which I don't even think I'm close to, to be honest. I guess I'm okay. 180. We're getting there. I just kind of got bored of doing the quest, but definitely plan on finishing those up soon.
So as you can see, I killed that a lot faster and we got two rune full helmets. This is what I'm talking about. So we haven't been here very long and we probably have at least 100k in inventory. So we'll run up real quick, recharge our prayer, do one more kill and then um, we'll go back to the bank and check all the wood I've got from wood or we maybe just a couple of hours of playing and I, I would definitely bet it's close to a mill or over that. I used to bring three prayer potions whenever I did this, but to me it's just worth it to not do that and save some money. I mean, it's right there. There's really no reason. So you can see I came back from charging my prayer and this guy's still trying to kill this dragon. So I definitely believe the blowpipe is faster and I know that not everyone can use the blowpipe. I think it's 75 range, but if you can get one, definitely, definitely get one. I think that's the most efficient way for sure. Also, if you're on a Sawyer task, you get 15% increase. So, also I know in the update, I'm pretty sure the um, update was approved for the dragon killing crossbow or whatever they're calling it. So, I'm sure those are going to be extremely expensive, but hopefully that um, those actually come down in price or something and that'll help all of us out who are trying to kill dragons, especially like KBD and stuff, that'd be pretty cool. Because... Um, we all know the rune crossbow gets old at KBD. All right. I think I have time for one more kill. So these um these anti extended anti fire pots last eleven or twelve minutes. So this will literally be from 11 or 12 minutes of killing brutal black dragons so you'll get a good estimate and of course like I said with the prayer potions obviously you can do it faster but nope. um, the reason I'm staying down here and I know I probably won't kill this in time for this to wear off um, if your extended anti-fire runs out you're really not in a lot of trouble if you have some food, um, especially because right now I know that I'll have it pretty low health by the time that runs out. Um, the The dragon breath, it'll hit you. Uh, it hits like sevens and eights, I think, but nothing too crazy. So if it runs out, I'm, I'm not super worried about it. And if you want to be extra safe, you can bring a ring of life. I always wear a ring of wealth, but just one more thing to consider. If you're really worried, you could bring sharks and you'll definitely be fine. But I've got two anglerfish drops in here and these lobsters. So it's pretty cool that you can kill these with almost no gear or no inventory at all.
All right. So we'll go up real quick, price check this uh, this inventory. Recharge my prayer first. The anticipation is real, I know. So, from 11 or 12 minutes, what do we got? Almost 200k, and that's I would say that's a um, average trip, um, and then I'd say one every other trip you'll get one that's three or 400k. So from here, we're gonna rub the Xer6 Talman or however you say it again. Gonna go to the Inferno again, which is the midway point between here and the bank. Um, I'll actually show you real quick. So we're here. Whoops. We're here at the Inferno. Right here is the altar. Right here is where the um, dragons are. And then we're going to be running west over here to the bank. So the Talisman, it's good because you can be in Varrock, the Grand Exchange, or wherever, and teleport right here to the dragons without having to run all the way through Zia. So we come right here to the Inferno, and now we're going to head west. Yeah, the, the Talisman just makes trips so much faster. Whenever I first came here, I was having run. And honestly, this is the only thing I know how to do at Zia. I literally killed... Some guy showed me um, like how to get the Talisman, and then he showed me how to get to these Black Dragons, or I think I watched a video, actually. And that was pretty much it. Um, that's all I really know here. But I've heard the Wizardmen are pretty good to kill, too, for the... Um, Dragon Warhammer. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and add these back to my blowpipe real quick. And I'll store that. We'll take out everything from 44 kills. Um, they also drop coins, like quite a bit of coins, but um, I've probably got like, well I say quite a bit, I've probably got like 10k in coins too, just to add on here, not that that really is going to matter when you see how much this is. Uh, I'll end up using the dragon bones on a gilded altar because I want 70 prayer, but here we go. Wow, that was a lot more than I expected because I really have not killed that many 44 dragons and I got 1.5 mil that's insane so looks like dragon dart tips are uh, a big big winner um, what else do we got that was worth a lot dragon items rune ore obviously blood runes dragon bones and then of course black dragon hide which it drops two of every time so that's pretty sweet, because um, I really feel like I did not do any work to get that. Like, it's just so easy to kill them. And you don't need a Fury. You don't really, like I said, you don't need Void. You can come here with a Rune Crossbow, you know, regular Dragon Hide, and you can do just fine. Um, I think the Blessed Ceridolman book is the best one to have, or um, Armadio, I can't remember, for um, the best range bonus. But I would probably just bring a... Um, unholy book but all right well I'm gonna put all that back in here and I hope that just shows you guys like what an without being like a, a real guide it just shows you what it's like to actually go there you know just some dude like me just a regular dude who plays a game and and kills these things so 
you know, I don't, I really don't come here often, but um, I'm, I'm not like strapped for cash or anything. Like 4.7 mil is plenty enough to, to play the game. And I have like 7.5 in the coffers and, you know, a few decent items and things, but nothing, nothing crazy here, you know, just, uh, just playing the game. And this is a great way to, to make up some cash if you're um, slacking. And the good thing is, these items that it drops are never really going to drop in value, so you can pretty much estimate that these are, this is about how much loot you'll get, like, throughout the game, because these are all items that, you know, are, are pretty common, but the price generally stays the same, so no big fluctuations here. Maybe the darts or something could, depending on updates. We all know Rune Javelins went up, way up or way down, I'm not sure, after the Ballista came out, but... Yeah, if you guys like that, uh, please subscribe. Thanks.